Tomorrow is a massive day because it's Edmund's first day of daycare. So let's pack his bag together. If this sounds interesting to you, stay tuned, give this video a big thumbs up because it really does support my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell because we upload every Monday and let's get to packing. I cannot believe that it's Eddie's first day of daycare tomorrow. He has been the baby that has been at home with me at the longest and I'm probably feeling the most anxious about sending him off to daycare. But I know that he's in good hands and the daycare has even provided me a bit of a list of what to pack in his bag for his first day. Now being summer, I am packing his bag according to the weather. If you want a winter edition, I will leave a link in the description box below for Phineas's first daycare bag because he went off during winter time and the clothes that I packed for him were very different. When looking at the list that the daycare has given me, I can see four clear categories of things to pack. The first category is food and hydration. The second is sleep. The third is spare changes of clothes. And the final one is any medication and paperwork. Now my situation with Eddie is a little bit different because my goal is to breastfeed him exclusively until he is 10 months old. So I have three childcare days where I need to be giving them breast milk. And I haven't given childcare breast milk since Amira, who's my firstborn. This means packing his bag for tomorrow is going to be very different to how I'm gonna pack his bag in two weeks time when I'm no longer breastfeeding him and he's formula fed. So I'm gonna show you both things just in case you are either breastfeeding or formula feeding. The daycare has communicated that they would like the bottles to be pre-measured, whether that's formula fed bottles or breastfeeding bottles. So for tomorrow, I am just taking some frozen milk out of the freezer and I'm going to put that into a bottle for tomorrow and I will make sure that his name is on the bottle. But in a couple of weeks time, what I will do is pre-measure the formula that he is going to be eating drinking and then I will pre-measure the water in each bottle so that way all they are having to do is taking the lid off getting the formula putting it in heating it up and away they go which is the reason why I think they're asking for everything to be pre-measured is because it means maximum time with the babies with Eddie being my fourth and final I have given him as much nursing time as he's wanted which is now becoming a bit of an issue because I would feed him when he woke up and I would feed him to bed because I just enjoyed being close to him. But now he's going to daycare, I am obviously having to cut back because I'm not going to be pumping that much. So I am giving daycare a bottle. I find Eddie being that nine, 10 month old, this sort of a um, spout is really good. It's quite similar to having a bottle, so it's not a new concept for them. Straws are too tricky, those sippy cups that have the 360 rim, too tricky. So this is definitely the drink bottle that I've found works really well if your bub takes a bottle, they'll drink water from that. So that way, if he does need some extra hydration throughout the day, he's got his drink bottle. Thankfully, daycare provides the food all the way up until kindy. So I don't need to pack any pouches. I don't need to provide any finger food. It is just bottles of formula or breast milk and then his water bottle for the day. Daycare provides sheets for the cot, so I don't need to provide that bedding. But what I will be packing in Edmund's bag is his comforter, which is his little foxy, and a sleeping bag. It really is great that all we have to pack for bedding is their comforter and their little sleep sack. In the category of clothing, they recommend that we bring two pairs of extra socks and then packing two to three sets of changes of clothes. Seeing summer, I'm gonna pack two rompers. And then one thing I do like to pack is a separate outfit where it has shirt and shorts because if I do put Ed in t-shirts and shorts to go to daycare and he is dribbly or he gets an art activity on him, they don't have to replace the whole outfit. They can either just replace the top or the bottom. 
If it was heading into the cooler months, I would pack spare singlets, jumpers, long pants, but because it is ridiculously hot right now, this is all he needs. And it's also sun safe, which is really important. This leads to the category of medication and paperwork. Now, our kids are quite sensitive with their skin, so we have to bring our own sunscreen. This is the brand that my kids' skin actually can handle. They've never had a rash and it protects them from the hot Australian sun. Now that you're a daycare parent, you're gonna have to get used to visiting the chemist and asking them to label everything. This led me on the adventure of going and getting some labels on Ed's teething gel, Bongella, his nappy rash cream. Now make sure that when you are getting labels that the pharmacist is putting it on the actual container itself and not just on the outside packaging. Part of my sleep routine with Eddie is the fact that I put on some baby fix on his chest. I feel like the smell helps him know that it is getting ready for sleep time, but it also keeps his nasal passages clear. And being a child who has been in hospital three times for breathing related illnesses, I'm very mindful of the fact that I want to make sure that his nasal passages are clear and he's getting the best sleep that he can. Then finally, I have some paperwork that I need to hand in tomorrow and I've also created his routine. This just gives me peace of mind because this is the first time that I'm ever being separated from him since the day that he's born, which means my anxiety is really high and if I can provide them any and all information to help them look after Edmund, I will gladly give it. I know that it's the biggest blessing that I've spent 10 months at home with Eddie. I only got four months with Amira, six months with Zoe, and eight months with Finn. So by far, 10 months has been my longest stint at home. And it doesn't mean that I'm not nervous about tomorrow. I am feeling anxious because it's an unknown. So if you're watching this video because you are trying to figure out what to pack in your baby's nursery bag and you're feeling the same things, they are completely valid. Just remember that this is a milestone and celebrate it. They're growing up and it's a beautiful thing. If this has helped you out, please give this video a big thumbs up because it really does support my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell because we upload every Monday because this parenting gig doesn't come with a rule book we only have each other. Stay tuned to the end screen where I'll put my winter edition for the nursery bag and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye!